Hello, Herman here with a video on ClearPass and how you can use Active Directory Authentication not against the standard username, but against fields like the user principal name or the mail address of the user. This one is requested through the channel after our last video on uh, nested AD groups. Let's first explain what is a user principal name. If we have a user object in Active Directory, we have all kinds of information against that. And uh, also here we have the email address. But here in the account, we have two fields for the username. This is the username that we normally are using. So it's just a username and you can uh, prepend the domain name uh, for it. But uh, yeah, normally the username uh, is okay. There's another way, which probably is the preferred way in Active Directory, where you have the username at the domain name of the AD domain. That can be uh, the public domain, but uh, it can be the local domain uh, or private domain as well, like we have here at arubalab.log. Let's have a look how this is stored in the Active Directory. So I have an, a tool called the LDAP browser here. And if I have a look here at my user, you can see uh, there are all kinds of fields that are nicely uh, displayed in the GUI. Uh, but we can see the same attributes like the name. Uh, we can see that here as common name. Uh, we can see it here again as name. Uh, we can see here the member of. We can see a display name. Uh, a lot of uh, redundant information. But if we scroll down, uh, we can also see here something called the user principal name. So this is basically the AD login name. And uh, I think we have the mail address. Yeah, here we have the mail address uh, as well. I noted the relevant information uh, down here in this text editor. So now have a look in ClearPass how that will work. I'm using for this test the same deployment as uh, last week. So uh, I'm doing admin login for my instant and the instant is authenticating against an active directory. And I just created a new one with the wizard called UPN uh, for this demo specifically, but it is completely standard. So if you go into the authentication sources, uh, you can see this is the normal. And here we can already see some filters and this is where the magic is happening. So if we go to attributes here and if we check then here in the filter, we can see uh, that we are pulling in these attributes, uh, but the query we're sending to the AD is a query where we are checking if the field like SAM account name equals the username. And if we have a look here, then uh, we can see here the SAM account name, that's Herman. So that's a short name of the short version of the username. We're checking then if that's corresponding with the username that the user was sending out. And here we have an AND function of this part and of this part. So also the object class should be user. This is a lot of internal stuff. Uh, so that's also why this is pushed in through the wizard. Now let me first see if this uh, if this authentication works. So I have my username Herman. Try to log in, and we can see uh, that's working here in Access Tracker. We see the authentication, and we can see the AD information pulled in. So all good there. So now let's uh, change this a field. So not checking for the SAM account name, but let's now check for the user principal name. So we can easily put it in here, save it. Save it again. And now if we log out and try to log in again, uh, we will see that this will uh, fail. And if we check here, what we now will see is that in the alerts, uh, yeah, we have the user not found. And that's because we are now trying to authenticate against the user principal name. So let's try to use the print user principal name. And you can see now we can uh, log in and we can see here now the user principal name and basically everything here is the same, so everything is pulled from the AD. So we just changed the format of the username. What we could do here as well is check the mail. And let's check. Now you can see we are authenticated against the mail field. And what we even could do is we can change it to the name field. And 
and we can log in uh, with our yeah full name uh, here. So username now is my full name. So awesome. So basically, if we can check here the field names by changing the query, we can uh, determine on which field in Active Directory the query will be done and at which field the username uh, should be considered. So the next question is, can we uh, make it work for uh, both? So for two different types of fields, so in the same authentication. And the answer is yes, we can do that. So then the query will be slightly more complicated. So if we want to check for the uh, same account name or the user principal name, uh, what we can then do is we can extend the LDAP query and we do that with a vertical bar, which is an OR operation. And you can see here that this OR operation is running till here and it has two components. So it will check if the SAM account name equals the username or the user principal name equals the username. And of course the object class st should still be user. So let's put that in. And now if everything is okay, we should be able to log in both with our SAM account name, so the short name, so that works as well. We could use the UPN and that works as well. And if we check now in Access Tracker, we can indeed see that all is working. So by changing the filter in the authentication source, you can determine uh, which is the username that's checked or which field is the username in the ClearPass authentication. And you can use this uh, basically in any authentication. So now I used it for the instant admin uh, login, but you could use it for other reasons as well. And if you're doing certificate authentication, then uh, probably you want to do this verification. So by default, AD can issue certificates based on the mail address of the user. So uh, by taking this one, either the SAM account name or the mail address and the same object class, uh, then it will allow, uh, yeah, either if it's cert uh, certificate authenticated with the mail address or if it's using the username. So it's pretty flexible if you know how it works and now you know how it works. Hope this was useful and if it was, please press the like button. Uh, also put your comments below the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Herman Robers.